Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Aquarians or Aquariuses out there. So if you have Aquarius as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all of my Aquariuses out there, so it might not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So let's get started with some messages from your person. I pulled two, but we have, I'm ready to get rid of my old habits. Wow, a black diamond. I am going through something. Also, Aquarius, please keep in mind that if I'm speaking from your person's perspective, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed as however this reading resonates for you. So far, Aquarius, I do feel like your person, you might feel as if they're leading you on or it's a situation where there's one step forward, another step back, so you two don't really progress. I feel like you, Aquarius, you feel like they're leading you on, but at the same time, even if your feelings are invested into this person, when they maybe lay low, you do the same. Like, you match their energy here. Um, but at the same time, if you two are in separation or not communicating as consistently as you would like to, um, although you might not Although you match their energy, that doesn't mean that your feelings aren't affected by it. Um, and by matching their energy, I mean like when they maybe choose not to communicate with you for however long, you might send one text or you might question what's going on, but you try not to hang on to it or at least pursuing action because it's like you're only going to give so much effort like physically um, you're only going to give that amount of effort that you're shown. Um, so, but regardless of that, I do feel like you do have feelings for your person, of course. We have, I'm ready to get rid of my old habits and I'm going through something. I feel like these cards are your person's energy. Um, it's like they, like, you two progress and then something happens, whether it be distance or whether it be you, Aquarius, maybe getting tired of, like, the patterns and behaviors that they have showed you. Um, so... I do feel like, at least with these first few cards, I feel like there is some interest from your person, but at the same time, interest and effort doesn't really mean too much when we're shown something and it's taken away, or it's like, how can you go against or switch up your energy like that? That doesn't make sense to you, Aquarius, and that does stick out as a red flag for you. Um, but as far as Wild Black Diamond, I feel like this is a mutual energy here. Of course, it's directed towards you, Aquarius, because it's like you have a unique personality and maybe at times you felt like people you've tried to get to know, they don't realize that just yet because you don't give too much of yourself until you know that this person is sure about you. Um, so you might in the past have felt like overlooked or knowing that there's nothing wrong with you but at the same time you're not really getting what you've been looking for but your person you two have maybe developed a connection more than small talk but maybe like a deeper connection all together and it's allowed your person to really see you for who you are and I feel like this energy may refer to your person as well because you Aquarius, you might feel like this is a person who isn't like the rest. This is not This is the type of person who doesn't stick to the, the same old, same old. Like 
instead of maybe trying to rush forward with something so quick um, other than like a genuine connection this person has maybe taken the time to really get to know you and build a deeper connection than just the physical my love overflows the cup you inspire me I will own up to my wrongs so my love overflows the cup I honestly feel like this is your energy Aquarius this is the love that you have to give for the people who deserve it in your life um, although you've been laying low when they lay low that doesn't mean you forget about the things that you do want to happen with this connection or you forget about your feelings for them you might be very like frustrated with them or irritated annoyed or bothered by them um but in the end i feel like you feel aquarius if they were to just communicate with you or just be there in front of your face and be there consistently then all of the other stuff that they may have shown you will go out the window because these are the feelings that you've been building up for this person and remember these energies can be vice versa just however this resonates for you we have you inspire me i feel like this is your person's energy to you aquarius um aquariuses you you all have brilliant minds you think outside of the box you are not afraid to stand out even if it makes other people talk about you or focus that their attention or direction towards you you act true to yourself and that's what really that's what they really admire about you you're your own person you you might have like this confidence about you where you're not cocky but you just know that you have it and they realize that it's like you Aquarius like even if you haven't been like laying low as far as maybe when they don't choose to communicate with you I feel like your person I feel like your person I'm sorry, I lost my thought because I was thinking about two different two different um, possibilities here. But the fact that you have this like quiet confidence in, about you, Aquarius, it just makes you stand out even more. And that I feel like your person knows that with or without them, you're going to still remain and be your your own person. And of course. If things were to not work out how you would like for them to, you still have this inner strength about you um, where your person, they can honestly be a little bit intimidated by it. Intimidated in the way where this might not make sense, but they know that, and okay, so they know that they can maybe come back and you will be accepting towards them, but they're they know that at any point you can be like cut it off for good so it's like this person is walking on eggshells but at the same time it's them the one they're the ones who um are choosing to maybe distance themselves from the connection it has nothing to do with you Aquarius I will own up to my wrongs I do feel like this is your person's energy we have I'm ready to get rid of my old habits I'm going through something so as far as like the inconsistency here and depending on for my Aquariuses that have been um, in separation from your person I feel like because you two haven't been in separation that doesn't mean that their feelings decreased for you or they lost feelings for you um, some people they want to have a break from the person that they care about and the person that they care about you Aquarius even though you two aren't in a committed relationship they feel like they don't have to communicate that despite them feeling strongly for you so depending on what they're going through or their old habits their old habits can just be for example this is an example so it might not resonate for you but going back to someone they know that is bad for them or slipping back into habits that they know that are bad for them because those bad habits, those people who aren't the best for them, they make them forget about the reality of what they're going through and 
what they need to do to, in order to change their reality to get to a better spot in their life. Um, so I do feel like if you do receive communication from your person and it's like, where have you been? What has happened? Um, they're going to want to come back like refreshed, um, sure about you completely. Um, and then by them like leaving you or maybe not giving you this consistent communication, they might want to prove it through their actions and their actions are going to make you know that they're serious about you. It's going to be, because even if this connection started off quick and it was great, like you two got along well, it seemed like this person could be in your future. And they, they like, it started off quick, it ended quick. Like those feelings just don't go anywhere unless the person really isn't in the best place in their life. What they told you, what they showed you, you should believe. Always always trust your intuition. But if you Aquarius, if you believe that this person is someone who stood out to you and now you're kind of second guessing it based off of their actions, if they were to maybe pop back into your life, don't accept those same actions, but expect a change. Um, and if the person really does care about you, then you will see that and you won't have to second guess yourself or maybe think of open possibilities. Um, so I do feel like if your person resurfaces, Mercury retrograde is coming back up. So maybe it will, maybe, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Um, I would say just look at their actions. Do you feel loved? Do you feel cared for? Do you feel appreciated, respected? then let that lead the way. But don't, I would recommend don't fall subject to the treatment you've been receiving if it doesn't work for you. I'm scared of being vulnerable. Good things take time. I am not ready yet. So overall energy I'm getting from this connection, Aquarius, is... When you met your person, you felt seen, you felt recognized, you felt like this person wasn't maybe here for one thing, to, no matter what that thing was, you felt like they really were taking the time to get to know you. Um, and it could have been like a couple weeks or a short time of very consistent communication where you two were expressing how you felt about one another. Maybe not you Aquarius, but you were getting used to the feeling or the idea of doing so. Um, I feel like your person slowly or even quickly started to separate themselves from this connection. Um, you might hear from them here and there, but being how they left off, you're really not sure what to think anymore. So you're in your head overthinking this. I feel like your person, they needed to go through like an awakening or just have some clarity be brought into their own personal life regarding their wants, their needs, what they want for themselves. I feel like during this time of separation, that's what they're focusing on um, and what they're doing in between to maybe fill a void. It has nothing to do with you, Aquarius. It doesn't go against how they really felt about you, but it's more about are they ready to show you what they meant and really express that through their actions we have i'm scared of being vulnerable i'm sorry that you cannot see the layout so clearly but we have i'm scared of being vulnerable i feel like this is a mutual energy here a reason why your person could have left was because they had some things going on where it just felt like there was too much going on for themselves um and by being completely honest and maybe not thinking about what others would have to think, not that you would judge them, Aquarius. Um, they just didn't want, I feel like letting someone else in like you, Aquarius, it would have placed more pressure on them because they may have felt like they needed to please you at the same time, or they didn't want you to think differently of them. Um, the good things take time and I am not ready yet. For those that are in separation from your person, I do feel like this will play out in divine timing or when it's ready to happen. Um, for example, if you were to maybe reach out to your person more in times of separation or when you're really not sure where they're at within this connection or in your life, sometimes when you push that, when you force that, they might come back, they might act on your emotions, but it might 
end up being the same type of storyline because they simply weren't ready. They didn't come across the message um, that they needed to within their own life yet. And it takes something to affect, or, sorry, it takes something to affect someone individually before they need to deal with it individually before they spread it outwardly. So your person might just not be ready for a fulfilling connection like this, but just remember, good things take time. A lover and a friend, I feel like that's what everyone hopes for. I found that in you. I don't have many true people in my life. I want this to work out because losing either is devastating. Uh, this is honestly one of my favorite cards that I've created because I think it's it's a beautiful message. I feel like you, Aquarius, you were getting comfortable with the idea of your person being in your life consistently and them getting to know you inside and out. Um, this is someone, and Aquarius is, I'm an Aquarius man, we do value friendship. Friendship is the start of, true friendship is the start of something amazing. So I feel like that's one thing you really liked about this person and this connection is because they made you feel comfortable because you knew that they were trying to learn more about you um and you were it started off like that and gradually you built built gradually naturally you built emotions for your person but i also feel like this is a mutual energy from your person um because it's like they met you aquarius you're different from the rest that they've come into contact and like when you have a lover and a best friend, that's that's a very fulfilling relationship. You feel comfortable. You feel like your wants and needs are complete or met. Um, so I feel like if anything, Aquarius, without the clarification here right now from your person, you wish that they may have kept it more straightforward with you or more straight with you so you would pace your feelings more or prepare to prepare for what maybe to expect even if they were like I really like you but I'm I don't know if I can keep this consistent right now that would have gave you more lead way um for your emotions but that's all I do have for my Aquarius today I didn't realize how long this was but I hope it resonates please like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time bye